Okay, when we talk about psychological maladjustments, uh, it means psychological problems or mental psychological disorder or psychopathology. So, psychological uh, maladjustment uh, relate to the patterns of abnormal or deviant behavior. So when we talk about psychological uh, adjustment, we talk about psychological well-being. But uh, uh, but psychological maladjustment is psychological problem or any patterns of abnormal or deviant behavior. This can be in terms of emotional distress that uh, people experience, such as feeling of anxiety and depressions or having impaired uh, behavior and thinking or inability to function in some or various roles for example if you experience this psychological uh, behavior psychological uh, problem or maladjustments you cannot be able to function like a normal individual perhaps uh, you feel um, you feel uh, scared to go out you feel scared to take exam you feel uh, emotionally unstable um, so and also you experience relationship problems uh, that's mean relationship uh, with friends with family and so on so any problem they experience in terms of this is considered you experience psychological maladjustment so this problem uh, you also uh, another thing that relate to psychological maladjustment is problem in distinguishing between reality from fantasy uh, this indicate that you cannot differentiate uh, your emotions or your anxiety or depression for example because you experience this anxiety depression and so on you cannot distinguish uh, the, the between the real and also the fantasy so that's why some people when ex when they experience psycho mental problem or psychological problem uh, they will perceive something uh, unreal for example uh, I've been told by one of the warden that uh, there are students who experience for example um, they they uh they experience problems such as when they open the when they turn on the tap uh the pipe the water look like a red in color or black in color and they experience for example like uh someone following them uh some but there are some a real thing that people are following them but uh for those uh they just uh experience this like an imaginary they they just see they just tend think uh, tend to see that uh, someone uh is like a is, is not real so they cannot differentiate between reality from the fantasy that's the problem of course some people they're having problems for example someone following them that's true but what is meant here for those who experience mental problem or psych psychological maladjustment they cannot differentiate between reality reality and fantasy for example they look at uh, normal people can differentiate it uh, but um, those who experience this cannot differentiate it maybe if we want to uh, explain to the normal people uh, who never experience this uh, we will have uh, the, those who experience this will have problem to explain to convince them but this actually uh, happen uh, in uh, the life of people who are affected by a psychological disorder or psychopathology and work adjustment uh, is part of the psychological uh, adjustment or psychological well-being is a process of development in which individuals progressively learn in their product in productive roles or acquires a positive work attitudes that will eventually characterize the work personality uh, or a uh, work personality is a uh, consider as a, se a same uh, autonomous area of personality so what we want what uh, what this uh, statement want to indicate is actually work adjustment is related to the uh, uh, individual uh, be able to uh, acquire positive uh, attitudes uh, be able to work uh, in the their productive role so that's considered work adjustment that's mean to be able to adjust uh, their life and their work habits or attitudes in the productive way uh, Con Hauser is another uh, uh, researcher defined or theories I think uh, defined uh, occupational mental health uh, in the work context as a comprehensive conditions that include adjustment and maladjustment so 
Common hoser, um, this there's another term regarding uh, regarding psychological health or work adjustment or psychological psychological adjustment is called occupational mental health. That means uh, employees experience uh, good occupational health or mentally a uh, good occupational health. So those who experience uh, me occupational uh, mental health, uh, it can be uh, indicating as a comprehensive conditions that includes adjustment and also maladjustment as behavior and attitude, uh, perceptions and feeling that determine individual overall level of personal effectiveness, success, happiness and excellence of, uh, of functioning as a person. So Kornhauser also add uh, not only adjustment but also maladjustment in their definitions of occupational mental health in the work context. So we are moving more towards uh, towards uh, psychological problems uh, in the workplace. So there's a term called work psychopathology, uh, also known as work dysfunctions imply some uh, area of the deficiencies, uh, some areas of deficiency or defects in the development of work personality. So basically, work psychopathology and work dysfunctions is related to the defects, to the flaws of the developments of work personality. And psychologically impaired employees, that means uh, employees who experience psychological problem, suffer from symptom of psychological disorder. So employees, individuals who have psychological impaired uh, uh, problems or psychological problems, psychological uh, pathology and so on, uh, they suffer from symptom of psychological disorder, such as they have distorted talks, feeling and behavior and this actually could affect either work or non-work situation. Work that means in the workplace or in the organization, non-work situation may be uh, at home or uh, relationship with families, in the situation involving friend and so on. So uh, that's the, the symptom. Low means define works dysfunction as a psychological condition in which there is a significant impairment in the capacity of the persons or the interaction between person and work environment. So low man is another researcher uh, defined work dysfunction uh, indicates that uh, work dysfunctions involve a significant impairment that means inability of a person uh, in performing their work and also in the interaction between uh, persons and work environment. <coughs> This indicate that psychological disorder or their symptoms such as anxiety, fear, depression and so on may cause impairment of the work and performance and work dysfunction. So basically, those who experience uh, psychological problems or psychological disorders such as anxiety, fear, depression and so on could have a negative impact on work performance and uh, work considered as a work dysfunction. So problem with organizational health or employee health uh, is impair, uh, could impair organizational functionings often relate to the work stress, so, uh, problem or conflict in the subsection or the, in the department in the organization, distorted organizational dynamic, maybe in the organization, the, the, in the organizations, uh, uh, the employees who experience work stress or experience these uh, problems uh, in terms of psychological problem, uh, could uh, lead to the many, uh, many problems in the organizations involving organizational dynamics and also related to managerial pathology and also not be able to achieve business uh, objective. So very serious uh, for those who experience uh, organizational uh, or problem, uh, psychological uh, problems among employees or uh, amongst uh, because employees will affect uh, performance of the organizations and these actually will have many problems later for example, uh, uh, organization not be able to achieve business objective if employees experience a uh, problem. 
So a uh, pathology of wellness orientations are psychological disorder. So the major emphasis is on illness. So when we talk about psychological disorder, we talk about more serious problems. Uh, is involved is emphasized uh, on uh, the emphasis is on illness or referring to as a pathology or maladjustments. So the symptoms of which are treated using psychiatric medicine or psychological therapy. So those employees experience psychological disorder, that means a very serious psychological problem, can lead to uh, like a craziness among people, uh, mental disorder, uh, maybe committing suicide and so on. This actually very serious uh, symptom uh, can be treated, uh, should be treated or must be treated in order to deal with this using psych psychiatric medicine and also psychological therapy. So the study of work uh, maladjustment more emphasis on the uh, work dysfunctional. So cycle of uh, this one, the illnesses is very serious. Uh, work maladjustments focusing more on the work function functions. That means employees couldn't be able to perform their work, uh, couldn't be able to function uh, properly in terms of performing their works or work related uh, emotional problems and counterproductive employee work behavior. So when we talk about counterproductive, for example, uh, employees who uh, um, maybe experience problems such as cannot uh, focus uh, in performing their work, uh, always absence, uh, the opposite of productive uh, work behavior. And also in, in, in terms of counterproductive, in terms of problem attitudes and perceptions, all this could impact, that means could have a negative impact or negative consequences on work performance, productivity, and how it is important to correct and manage such, such problem, that means this problem, if not, the organization cannot be able to achieve the performance and so on. <coughs> So the emphasis on uh, psychological health uh, concept is based on uh, is normally best expressed by positive psychology. So positive psychology, when they talk about psychological health, uh, they they use the the concept salutogenesis. So salutogenesis is uh, referring to the origins of health and concerned with the origin of psychological and uh, physical well-being. So salutogenesis is related to the origins of health uh, and also focus on what strength people have to stay healthy and what strength organization can master to survive in times of hardship and difficulties. So salutogenesis focusing on the origin of health and focus on the what strength people have to stay healthy uh, in the situations uh, that uh, that's, uh, consist of hardship and difficulties.